This is the Audio Technica AT875R shotgun microphone, and it's going to set you back 170 USD dollars. I bought this microphone. This is my first XLR microphone because I want to be able to have a mic that's outside the frame and uh, still have very little known noise. And there's very few microphone in the under $200 USD category that has a super cardioid pickup pattern. So this microphone pick up very small area in front of it and rejects sounds to the side. And that's very hard to find in this price range. Uh, less than $200 is still a lot of money to spend on one microphone. And you got to also add on to it about $100 to purchase a audio interface. But um, in the professional world, this is a very budget microphone. Uh, when you're, when uh, you know the professional, whether making TVs or YouTubers like MKBHD, they use shotgun microphones like the MKH416, which cost upwards of more than a thousand dollars. So less than two hundred dollars, still a pretty good deal. So let's see what the intrinsic noise level of this mic is. I'm going to turn off the lights now. So there's zero fan noise in the room. I've turned off air conditioning and let's take a look. I'll take the audio and loudness match it to the European broadcasting standard, which is minus 23 LUFS. And this, in this case, it only increased the gain by 0 0.65 dB. Once the loudness of my voice is matched to all the other clips uh, so that the volume is standardized, I take a section of the silence where I'm not speaking and it's just the room noise, which is very little, plus the self noise of the mic. We take a look at the practical noise floor by measuring with the amplitude tool. And in this case, the best case scenario for me, for the Audio-Technica AT875R was an average of minus 72 dB. This is, uh, Oh, so in my previous video, I've tested for the USB condenser mic. The best case scenario I could get was minus 54 dB. So we're almost 20 dB quieter than the USB uh, mic. And that's amazing. Right now, we're going to do a side by side comparison. I am first speaking into the Audio-Technica AT875R XLR microphone. And then in a second, I'm going to switch to the camera audio right now. And after camera audio, we're going to switch to the USB condenser microphone and compare the quality. So the USB condenser microphone is a Samsung G track, which I bought around $110. So about a third of the price of the um, XLR setup. And I've used it for the last couple of years. So we want to hear what the tonal difference is. And uh, at this distance, about a feet away, probably not going to be much self noise evident. Finally, I'm going to be testing the USB condenser microphone held at the boom distance where it's outside the camera frame. And we want to hear the tone of the voice in this untreated room, as well as a little bit of the self noise test. Okay, so I'm speaking normally into the USB condenser microphone. Now I'm going to whisper and I'm going to speak very softly to the USB condenser microphone. The USB mic gain is already almost cranked to the max and uh, we're going to hear the self noise test. Okay, that's it. That's the USB when I speak in a soft tone. This is the raw audio coming from the AT875R from Audio-Technica. This is a small uh, shotgun 
microphone and um, right now it's set just outside the frame about two feet away from my mouth my fingertip can almost touch it and this is as quiet as I can possibly get it in my untreated room here so this room has no carpet hardwood floor all sort of square space with walls so right now I want to test what the sound is like in an untreated living room and um, no fan noise, computer's quiet, no lighting noise, so no fans on my, well, my lights not turned down, no air conditioning, room, all the babies are asleep, so I'm going to be silent now, and we're going to hear how much uh, background practical noise there is. Okay, so that was the noise level. Uh, you can call it self noise or the practical noise in my room. Right now I'm speaking at a pretty comfortable level. Um, I'm not speaking very loudly or whispering. What I will do later on is uh, loudness match this audio clip to minus 23 LUFS, which is the European or I think the broadcasting loudness standard. That way my speaking volume is consistent when comparing to other microphones or clips and um, you can hear the noise as, it, as it, it is relative to my speaking voice. Here is a second clip. Now I'm almost whispering and this is still about two feet away from my mouse, just boomed outside the frame here. And again, I'm gonna be silent. And then we want to, again, loudness match this to minus 23 LUFS and see how the noise level is, the background noise level is like at that point. The uh, preamp is set to about 12.30 o'clock so that earlier my, la my normal speaking volume is between minus 12 and minus 18 dB. To end this video, I'm gonna say one of the main reasons we want this mic to be boomed outside the frame is for live streaming and uh, Zoom calls. In the corporate setting, it's kind of weird to have a fancy mic in the frame uh, when you have a call, but when it's outside, it's much more natural. And that's where mics like these come into play. Um, and again, under $200, very little choices that can pick up good sound with little noise wow, it's a little bit further away. And um, I want to thank two people, uh, Curtis Judd uh, and Julian Krauss. Curtis Judd recommended this AT875R microphone, and uh, I think it's very good. I'm going to link the, I'm gonna link the um, to his video in the description below. Julian Krauss um, recommended the Arteria audio interface, which I'm super happy with after the purchase. It's again, very little noise and Julian Krauss went into very much detail on how just the, the specific, one specification on noise is not enough. It's also dependent on the gain or sensitivity, I think something like that for the Arturia. Uh, well, watch this video. Again, I'm gonna put that in the link. So basically there's two factors on audio interface that you gotta check to be able to find one that actually has lower noise. So this combination of Audio Technica mic and the Arteria audio interface, I've been able to achieve minus 74 dB self noise, which is more than enough for many voiceover applications. Um, I think many of them will require the self noise to be less than minus 58 dB, um, which we're able to achieve now with this mic. So this mic can work as a voiceover mic as well. Uh, I'm gonna be putting the link to purchase this mic in the description below. Um, it's an Amazon link, affiliate link. Um, if you want to go ahead and purchase this, please go down into the comments and you'll see the link there to buy. And um, I'm gonna end this video with a noise comparison. So it's basically the same noise comparison you heard before, but this time I'm gonna boost the volume up by about 10 times higher. So those of you who don't wanna crank up volume, who is maybe watching on the phone, will be able to appreciate the noise difference um, between this XLR shotgun microphone and my uh, USB condenser microphone when they're held 
outside the frame in a boom mic situation.